Do chickadees use birdhouses? Yes, that's good. Do chickadees migrate in the winter? No. Okay, so if I put up a birdhouse now, that should be good. Birdhouse size for chickadee. Okay, I think I can work with that. Now that I had my questions answered, I could get started planning out the house for the chickadees. I don't know an awful lot about birds, but these black cap chickadees that we have in my area are just adorable and I thought it'd be really fun to make them a house. I wanted the birdhouse to look like a fantasy cottage, so I'm sketching out that concept for my reference before I jump into 3D. Here in Blender, I've got some notes on the side so I know approximately how big I need to stay in the range of for certain dimensions. I've got a cube on the left that shows me approximately the volume of what the birdhouse needs to be and I've got my reference image behind my modeling platform so that I can stay on track. There were a few things that I wanted to accomplish with this birdhouse specifically. First of all, it had to be the right size for a chickadee. That's why I did the research, because apparently if you make the hole too big, other critters and other birds will try to break in and bother the chickadees, so I didn't want that. Second, I wanted it to have that fantasy cottage look. Third, I wanted all the parts to print support free meaning you don't have to add slicer supports if you don't want to. They take extra time, they take extra material. You can break your model after you print it by trying to remove them sometimes. I wanted it to be easy to print without those slicer supports. Next, it should fit in a 180 millimeter squared build volume on a printer. So if you have a mini printer, like a Bamboo Labs A1 Mini, for a Prusa Mini, you can print this birdhouse um, with the individual pieces. And the last thing I wanted to accomplish with this birdhouse was to make it able to print in multicolor without having to have an expensive multicolor printing setup. Because of these requirements, I spent a lot of my time in 3D space just working out how all the different shapes were going to interact with each other. I knew I wanted to print the roof as a separate piece from the main body so that you could eventually get inside the birdhouse every once in a while and clean it out if you needed to. I also knew that the birdhouse would need some sort of ventilation, so on the side of the in, uh, insert there's going to be vent holes and then I also realized that if moisture got in there then I would want that to be able to drain out somehow so there's actually drain holes on the bottom and then I needed to be able to somehow align most of the parts and make it so that when you are gluing this up the pieces will intuitively go together. I think one of the best things about working in 3D is that you don't have to commit to one final shape. If you don't like how it's turning out, you just move it around, you just change it, you just delete it, you add a new shape instead. And you can keep doing that until you're left with what you really want as an end product. I'm almost done blocking out all the basic shapes for the birdhouse and then I'm going to move into texturing the model. Now, this is similar to how a video game model would be textured. I'm going to basically unwrap the pieces I've created so that they can lay flat on top of a texture. And then I use modifiers to divide that surface so that there's plenty of topology for the texture to displace the surface and create the cobblestone textures and the wood textures that are going to be a part of this birdhouse. It was actually quite a challenge to make this birdhouse print support free as well as print in individual pieces that can be printed in different colors without a multi-material system. The two of those don't usually go together very well. Now, 
It's definitely possible, it's just a very time-consuming process. I then went ahead and cut all the models into their individual parts and brought them into a slicer so I could start 3D printing them. With everything printed, it was time to do a little bit of cleanup, burning away the stringing, and removing the brim that I used on the small roof pieces. Now all that was left to do was to glue all the pieces together. I'm using some high heat hot glue, but epoxy or super glue would also work. I ran into a little problem while I was trying to place the insert inside the frame. The back decorative corner piece was protruding into the inside of the frame where it was not supposed to. So I hopped back into Blender, made a fix to the main model for next time. And for this time, I fixed it by just taking a flush cut saw and sawing off the excess. I then glued up the chimney and the tower off camera because I forgot to hit record and finished gluing all the roof pieces together with the hot glue. The tower and the chimney both have little ridges that help with alignment as you glue them in place. The top will attach with these sliding dovetail clips for easy removal later, but the printing air on the corner of the roof caused me some grief, so a hammer helped me fix everything. Now the top can slide closed, and you can also open it. This piece will allow me to mount the birdhouse to a 4x4 post. And now it was time to take everything outside and set up the birdhouse where some chickadees could hopefully find it. I don't want the birdhouse to blow away in the wind, so I am pre-drilling some holes for some screws and attaching that to the top of this fence post. The bottom of the birdhouse has a screw hole, so you can simply just twist it onto the mount of your choice. I'm really quite pleased with how this birdhouse came out. I was outside getting these detail shots and I could hear chirping in the bushes behind me. And sure enough, there were some curious chickadees that were flying around in the bushes and the trees, kind of curious about what I was doing, which was really fun. At the time of posting this video, I have not seen any chickadees move into the house yet, but I'm hopeful. Let me know if you'd want to hear an update about uh, whether or not some chickadees move in. Also, if you like this kind of content and want to see more, please consider subscribing, give this video a like, leave me a comment and let me know uh, what kind of birdhouse or design I should make next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye!